Hello and welcome back to more GTA 3 with me, Video Gaming Bear. This is part 3 of yeah, GTA 3. Um, so, we're just here hanging outside our hideout. You can see inside, there's not much in there. No. Got a very big bed. It's a bit weird, but I don't know. Maybe Claude likes his comfort. We don't have much. We have a fair bit of money, actually, but... Um... You know, I like to think that this game's been adjusted for inflation. And what I actually have is more like 1,600 instead of 16,000, you know. Because in Vice City and San Andreas, prices for things are cheaper. Like, pain spray is 100, whereas in this it's 1,000. So, let's just assume there's like an inflation going on and I don't actually have 16,000. Um... But yeah. Um, so last time I don't know, we did, we just did a few odd things, really. We went to see Joe um, over at his garage, garage. After getting to meet him and you know find out about him and stuff. And why don't we head over there again? Right now, shall we? Get this ball rolling. Oh. Well, the car gave off sparks and just because it braked, it's a bit messed up. Why is it sparking from braking? Whoa! Look, hmm. Dodgy car, I guess. Anyway, let's see what Joey wants us to do now, shall we? Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Colombia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. Okay, so yeah, again, like I said with this game, it's very brief. The cutscenes aren't anything like in Vice City or San Andreas. You basically go somewhere, he says, do this, and you do it. This was before, you know, they had any sort of, like... Well, they probably had story writers, they just didn't think it was necessary at this time. I mean, to be fair, 2001. Not many games actually had storylines. I know that might sound a bit weird, but... It was things like Metal Gear Solid, really, that started it off. Metal Gear Solid on PS1 was just like, holy shit. Cutscenes? They were like the first people to do cutscenes. Sort of. I mean, the modern, typical sort of cutscene, I mean, anyway. I mean, cutscenes have existed a long time before then. Are you British? Oh, oh, oh yeah, I remember. This guy, um, the guy in here behind the counter, it's meant to be um, Sam Hauser. The, um, yeah, like the founder of Rockstar Games, along with his brother Dan Hauser. Um, but yeah, that's why he's British, he's meant to be him. Also in um, Vice City as well, but I never mentioned that because it didn't occur to me. But yeah. In this game in Vice City, the ammunition guy's meant to resemble Sam Hauser. Specifically Sam, never Dan. Sam Hauser's a strange dude, to be honest. IRL. He never does any form of like public appearance or interview or speech or anything. I mean, Dan doesn't either, but he's done at least a bit more than Sam has. But they're really just quiet guys like compared to like you know the guys who run Ubisoft or something like that who are always out and talking about things they just never do anything really quiet you always hear from the guy who does take two uh, what's his name Leslie Benz is, is the one you'll always hear from but yeah let's try and do this I think this can be a bit tough to be honest 
We're gonna try and just rumbo this. Okay. Got him, got him, got him. Let's get out of here, boys. Nito. Woohoo! The pistol is now in stock at ammunition! Ah! Actually, I think I should go and get. I don't know what that noise was, I just made it. Um, I think I should probably go and get some ammo, actually. For that. I don't have much at the moment. Oh man, this map. By the way, unlike the other games, no map. No map to look at. You have to just know it. Um, using the little radar in the bottom. And despite having played this game for plenty of years, I still can't remember it all exactly. Um, but the phone just... I didn't... What? I didn't press anything even close to F just then. I stopped the car and pressed A. Well, that was weird. Well, that's injured. Oh, it's down here. There it is. Ammunition. See how much it is anyway. It's really cheap. That's like $25. If we're keeping with the inflation thing. 25 bucks for a pistol? Heck yeah! I'm down for that! Plus money's like never used in this game anyway, to be honest. You'll find yourself with lots of money. Although you will need it at some point in order to complete the game. Like in, um, like in San Andreas, you need certain amounts of money to buy certain places and whatnot. And Vice City as well, so should make note of that. Uh, but now I think we'll go see Luigi. Yay, Luigi! Luigi! Ill. Wait, why is he Russian? I don't know. Accents. Go, Luigi! Go, Luigi! Okay. Go. Joey Pants. has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amnonation opposite the subway. Oh man, everyone's telling me to go to Ammunition. Oh, this is meant to be the Ammunition, like, tutorial, sort of. I was meant to have done this one first. That's why they showed it just then. Like, this is Ammunition! You haven't been here yet, unless you did Joey's mission. And in that case, you sort of fucked up the mission order that we intended. Wait, it doesn't matter. I mean, they put it on the map, so it's not exactly like you can't find it on the other mission. But yeah, there is a gun at the back. Come on, I'll pick you up. It's three bullets. Three bullets for everyone. Another thing to note in this is with guns, like you add three weapon sets in my seat in San Andreas, and this one is one. So this is the only pistol I'll have in the whole game. There isn't a Desert Eagle or a Magnum or anything, this is it. One pistol. It's like one pistol, one SMG. You know. I can't remember if there's multiple shotguns. There's two assault rifles and whatnot. Um, so stupid, I'm gonna have to get out to shoot this guy. He's got a guy with him. Also, I wanted a shotgun. There we go. That was simple enough. Didn't even get shot. You guys suck. Mm. I'll show you. And I'll take your car too. Yeah, motherfucker. Beep beep. Ooh, whoa. This is a lot faster than I remember it being. Push it to the limit. Oh god, this video is gonna get flagged. Like the other one that I'd... I'm not, I don't want to change the station though, because if I'm honest, I don't care about them earning money or whatever. I don't care about monetization. I do this for leisure, but if there's ever a point where I get a shit ton of viewers and it takes off, 
then maybe I'll start caring, but for now I really don't care. So I think we'll go see Joey again. And that'll probably be it for this part. Maybe. Alright, we're gonna hit the payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. Yeah, this is just quite a slow part of the game. Really. To be honest, the whole game's kind of slow. There's nothing story-wise that ever happens, really. You're working for someone, you do some jobs, and then you work for someone else and do more jobs, and that's about it. There's a couple storyline things that'll happen, though, so... It's not completely at a loss. Um, oh yeah. Oh god, Popos! No, Popos! No! What's that noise? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, she's on fire. Oh god, thinking of the Scarface soundtrack. When I play Scarface, the world is yours. Every single video is going to end up flagged. Every single video. Because the Scarface songs are big in that game. And there's no way you can avoid them. Even if you wanted to. Because it, it's just... It's just... You can't just leave those out. They make Scarface. They make Scarface what it... Oh, shit. Um, hmm. Get back here, you son of a bitch. The soundtrack of that game and the film are amazing. I might have to watch the film of that before I play it, but then again, God knows when I'll play it, so... That might be a while yet. Just... If you're a viewer, never ask me what my plan is in terms of games. Like, don't ask me what I'm going to be doing after this, because I seriously don't know. I never do. Oh god, Popos! No! It's my money! I need to be careful of super cops. Okay. I'll just, um... Shit. Run for it, Marty! No! Fog life! Oh god, don't flip. Oh god, this thing is slow. So slow. So slow! Get away, you goddamn dirty pigs! Where's the lo oh, I don't know where the lock is. Shh. With all the boxes in the back, just say loot on them. Loot, loot, loot. Back when Rockstar didn't have clever ideas. Alright, don't get busted putting it in here, please. Oh, they're gone. They've gone. Alright. Well, that's nice. Well, he's gone. Put it in a lockup. It's too late now, boys. Give up. We'll just have to let this money go. I'm gonna jack a car and I'm probably gonna get them back, but whatever's worth it. El Burro wants to offer you an opportunity. Get to the payphone in Hepburn Heights if you want more info. Um, I'm not gonna do those. 
phone missions, any of them in the game. There's like three sets. There's blue, green, and red, basically. Different people, different jobs, gang leaders, and um, they just don't do anything for you, really. They're just for if you want more money, to be honest. There's nothing story-wise. They're basically side missions. But like, not like side missions you've had in other GTAs where it's like, like zero missions or whatever. It's nothing like that. It's literally, you go to a payphone, a guy answers, well, a guy phones you, and he says, "Kill some guys, please." And it's like, oh, and that's all you do. So I'm not gonna do them because they're boring, pointless, and I'd rather just do the story. So yada yada yada. But anyway, this has been part three of. GTA 3, thanks for watching and I'll be back real soon with more um, hopefully we can get this out of the way pretty quick shouldn't take too long but yeah, I'll see you in it when it continues, which should be very soon so bye bye, see you then raw